Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Andrew and welcome back to Factorio. This is episode number five and this one's a bit special because we're starting our first smelting array and well this could be considered kind of a smelting array here. This is more of a starter base just for science and for some basic uh, kind of early game materials that you're going to need a lot of. But this, today, we're going to be starting our bus and our smelting array. And the thing about a bus, and I probably mentioned this last episode as well, is that a bus is basically just a way to convey materials from one point to another point uh, efficiently. And it's, so it's kind of like this, but uh, I guess last time I did this, the example where, you know, this this is, whoops, this right here would be a normal line, whereas a bus would look more like this to have a lot more materials to be able to, to bring from point A to point B. So the whole idea behind a smelting area and a bus is that you smelt all your materials in one, one big place, uh, and then you put it on a big bus, and then it's bussed over to anywhere that really needs it. And so that's basically what we're going to be doing. And the, the, whole, the whole idea is the bus can go any direction. It can be anywhere. It doesn't really matter since Factorio is an infinite an infinite world space so um it's kind of arbitrary for where you want to put your bus and so i've actually looked at the map a little bit and decided that i want to run a bus that's going to be uh going from south to north like this and uh and so our factory stuff is going to be up here kind of and our our big smelting area is going to be over in this big tree place so we're gonna have a lot of trees to clear before we can get the full smelting array down. But first, let's actually think about what we want to include on the bus. So I think this is probably the best place for a, uh, for the bus to go, north or south to north, just like this, kind of like that. Um, and, and if you want to plan things out in Factorio, you can hold shift and click things down like this, and it'll make ghost images. So we know we're going to want our bus to have a four, kind of a, four, a line of four, um, four of these right here. And the reason we want it to have like that is because if we want things to go under the bus with our underground belts like so, the underground belts can only go four. So having having a line of four belts is probably the best, most efficient way to do things. So we're gonna want a line like this for iron. We're gonna want a line like this for, probably another line for iron if I'm being honest. We're gonna want a line for copper we're going to want a line eventually for circuits, because circuits are very good to have on a bus, since they're used pretty much everywhere. We're going to want a line for... What else do we want? I mean, we could have a line for red circuits as well, but that's a little bit later, so maybe we could like add the line in later down the road for that one. What else are we going to want here? So iron, iron, copper, uh, circuits... What else do we need? Let's actually look at a couple materials and see what they require. Gears. Maybe we want to put gears on a on a bus, so that's an idea. Gears, iron, pipes. No, we're good for that. Steel. Yeah, steel. We probably want two lines of steel. And then we're going to want... We'll have two lines of gears, I suppose, maybe. Okay. And do we want anything else on our bus? I mean, it's going to be a huge bus. It's going to be going all the way. And everything. Do we want anything else though? I'm not sure. We'll we'll have an arbitrary other bus for other stuff. Just just in case we want to add stuff later. So I said this was gonna be the iron, but I think these ones are gonna be the iron, because iron is used the most, so it should probably be the closest to where we have our factories. Uh, and I've decided that I kind of want to have our factories on the right side here. So this would be the smelting, iron, iron, copper circuits, etc. And then our factories would be kind of over here in this area. And it'll all come together in the future once we can actually get everything set up. So let's go ahead and label these a little bit just so we can um, have an idea of what's going where. So we'll do something like this uh, so that we know this one is the iron. So iron, iron, uh, copper. Okay, that's a little bit out of line, and that's kind of bothering me. Oh, I can't write. I can't write in ghost images. Copper, and then we want this one to be circuits, so put another C there. Not to be confused with copper. C, I. Circuits. Uh, well, let's put it right here. Circuits. Copper. Um, 
steel. Uh, these were, what were these? Gears? Gears. And then arbitrary. So this can be random. We'll put R. And I do this so that I kind of know kind of know what's going where. So we got iron, iron, copper, circuits, uh, steel, what was this? Gears and arbitrary. So anything can go there. Okay, so now that we have that set up, we know this is the space that we want to keep clear of everything because we know that this is where our bus is going to be going. And it's going to be continuing all the way upward through these trees uh, all the way over there. So this is where we're going to be wanting to have our smelting area. So let's right click here and put smelt. That's our smelting area. Now we have lots of grenades in our inventory because I've gone and gotten some. So we're going to be clearing a couple of these trees out here so we can put our smelting area somewhere. So let's just clear quite a few of these things out and we'll get everything going. I think we really need a lot more grenades, but this is fine to start. Oops, I hurt myself there. Yeah, this will be perfectly fine for our first setup of the smeltery. All right, and we probably want to continue down through this forest here. So I think, yeah, probably this whole area would be a good area for smelting. And before I do anything else, let me real quick go back to our, our uh, steel over here. And the reason I'm doing that is because we set up this steel all for one reason, and that reason was so that we can make the next level of axe. So let's grab our new axe, and let's see what the current one looks like. That's the current one, and let's put our new one in there. And here's our new one. All right, two chops instead of three. I love it. And it takes things down faster as well. So that's a plus as well. Let's grab a couple of these nades. Uh, 72, I like it, yes. By the way, I've gone ahead and put some, um, made some of these my default slots. For instance, I always want transport belts to be here, underground belts to be here, and splitters to be here. And same with inserts, fast inserters, power, like that. And actually, since we have nothing researching right now, let's get this tool belt. Tool belt is extremely important and very useful because it adds another line of tool belt to your inventory. So let's go ahead and break some of these trees here. And I guess later in the series, I'll start like not including this. Like I'll break the trees for the area I want to work with prior to the episode actually starting. But I didn't do it for this one, so we're just going to be breaking some of these trees here. It's okay, we have plenty of grenades. I'd like more. We could actually set up another grenade factory, actually, if we want to. You know what? Are you guys... You guys are gray. Okay, hang on. We're, we're gonna make you guys blue. You guys are gray, now you're blue. Let's see the difference. That's how the gray one works, and that's how the blue one works. So slow, fast. And that is exactly what we want. Speed is key, after all. Let's move back to our cool little forest in which we've been destroying. Sorry, forest. You have to go. You're in the way. What can I say? Alright, we're almost, almost clear of this forest here. We're out of grenades. Drats! All right, well, I think this is probably where we're going to start our smelting array. And now, so what the smelting array is, is it's just a gigantic smelting place. And what it's going to be doing is, now I told you, if I go into my map view and go look over here, uh, I, I told you earlier that the optimal kind of array for smelting this way, using uh, half a belt of copper and half a belt of iron, is going to be 24 of these, of these furnaces. So what we're going to be doing is having a line of 24, and then kind of the same configuration as this, but another line of 24 instead of a line of 12 like we did over here. So we're going to start that, make sure we don't get in, in trouble with the iron. We're going to start right about here. Let's go down a little bit, actually. Let's go down as far as we can without encroaching on this water. Let's go here. Put that right there, and then we'll... So this, this first line will be a little bit more difficult because there are still some trees in the way. Uh, but after that, it'll, it'll get easier because we've cleared most of that area. So let's run some more of these. 
Our tool belt, see? Our tool belt's increased, and now we have a lot more uh, area. You know what? I'm going back for the grenades, because I don't want to clear this whole forest on my own, with my own bare hands. What else can we uh, get while we're kind of waiting here? Uh, we can get advanced material processing, I suppose, but do we want to? Uh, I don't know what we want to. Let's just let's just go for something arbitrary. Shotgun shell damage. I don't use shotguns really, but we'll get it nonetheless. Twenty-two grenades. That should be enough to clear this just this area over here. So let's fire some nades in here. I think it's kind of hilarious that this is the best way to. Oops! I destroyed a bunch of my machines. I broke them a little bit. Sorry, machines. I'm actually almost dead because I've been hurting myself. I'm just going to shoot all these. Alright, so the way you can fix machines, you can actually get these repair packs here. And we're just going to get a couple of these and then click on the thing you want to fix. I don't know if you can fix trees, actually. Can I fix trees? No. Alright, so let's just keep building some more of these machines. Now, I don't know how many we have, so the best way I'm going to be figuring out how many we have is by using the blueprint tool, which I may or may not have shown off. If I didn't, what you do is you press B to get to the blueprints, like this, drag a blueprint down to your inventory, and then you can use it to hover, see how many you have. We have 21. You can see uh, kind of where my mouse is, 21. So we're going to be adding three more to get to 24. Uno, dos, and trace. Awesome. Just going to shoot a couple of trees. It's actually faster just to break them. Just break these ones will be perfectly clear. All right, and so we're, we know we're gonna want a belt right about there. We know we're gonna want a belt right about there, and this will be the middle belt right here. So we're gonna have machines on this side as well. So like that, and then like this. And I think what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna complete one major line of this. And then we're going to just blueprint it and, uh, and and just expand it a little bit. All right. And I actually had the the these things facing the wrong way. So I'll replace those uh, this way. That's what we want. Well, it doesn't really matter for the outside ones. They can be going whichever way they want. But for the inside ones, it does matter a little bit. I think we probably want it to be facing the correct way. So we run this along over here. And remember, if we run out of materials, we can always go back, since we do have that stuff producing these belts. So this is going to be our first line. Our first iron line is what we're going to say it is. We don't need this one right here. All right. And so let's go back to our map and look what we did over here. So for this one, we're going to be doing the same thing. We're going to have iron on one side and coal on the other side, like so. So we're going to want to kind of run the same configuration. We're going to have coal, iron, coal, iron, like that. All right. And then probably where's our coal? We have coal. Mm, we're, we're not in a great area for coal, are we? We're not really in a great area for materials. We're probably going to have to ship some of these over, to be honest. But that's going to be perfectly okay. Yeah, we'll just have a bunch of machines over here and then just run them down like this over to these. And then for copper, we can also do the same thing to get them over. Uh, but coal, we're probably going to want to take from here for now. And actually, it does look like we do have some biters over here. These are the red the red biters which are shown on the map. So we're eventually going to have to start working with turrets, especially if we're going to be using this coal. Or we can just use this coal or this coal. I think we should probably go for this one, though, because it is a little bit closer. So what we're going to have is our coal coming in like this. Maybe we can move that a little closer, actually. So coal is going to be coming in like so, and then it's going to go under, and then come out like that. And then we're going to have a splitter, and half of it's going to go to our current machines, and the other half is going to go. Oops, you're going the wrong way. The other half is going to go to our new machines. So that's going to be kind of our setup that we're going to be using. And then we're going to have our iron coming in like this. And let's run another splitter. We're out of splitters. So let's make a couple. And let's make a couple of underground belts as well. So splitter like this, going to these machines. And then we're going to have 
this coming along to these ones like so. All right, perfect. That's looking good, I think. Could we make this a little bit nicer, actually? Yeah, we could a little bit. If we just move this back a little bit like that, and then we move this splitter in one, then we could also have the materials like that going. And that's that's a little bit tighter, so I think it maybe looks a little bit nicer as well. So that's, I mean, that's one way we could do it. And I think that's probably the best way. So we're going to have to have coal coming in here and iron coming in here. And I suppose it doesn't really matter if coal's on one side or, or the other side and iron's on the, uh, the other one. It doesn't really uh, matter that much. All right, so let's get some inserters in here. Inserters. And we're just going to run along these, running them, putting them down like this, placing them fast. Not very fast, apparently. And we're going to have to run through this with power poles again. And what we're going to do is we're going to blueprint this at the end so we don't have to do this. Well, we will have to do it again, but we won't have to actually come up with the design. And I'm not really coming up with the design. This is a pretty common design used by a lot of people in Factorio. Um, so well, the basic idea is at least not exactly the same. Almost there. Just a couple more. And presto, we have all of them set up with inserters. Now we gotta get them set up with power poles. Do we have enough? Probably not, so let's get a couple. But uh, I think probably the best way we can do this is run power like this. Like that. such a fun task isn't it powering everything it's got to be done though and we don't have the better power poles yet although I suppose we could probably get them these are the better power poles here so let's let's research that that's gonna be super helpful just for consistency's sake let's keep them all on this side almost there one more awesome and so that's going to connect to our iron bus there. Now we currently have nothing to actually put on. Like our whole thing's set up. It's completely 100% set up. The only issue is that we currently don't have any materials to actually put through here. And so I think probably what we want to do is go and take a look at this coal at the very least. To see if it's viable for us to be, uh, for us to be using. So let's just go down here and take a gander at what that coal has to offer. Can we see it from here? I was stuck in a tree. All right, that's actually not a bad patch of coal to be using for now. And I suspect that we're gonna find one eventually over here maybe that we can use a little bit better. But for now, that's probably our best coal option. We can go see those biters as well if we want. I don't know, I'm kind of scared to go and go and look at them because I think they're gonna start to get angry. But they're, they're gonna appear right about here somewhere. Yep, there they are. There's a little biter base. We can actually go in our map and see them a little bit closer. They're doing biter things. And we're, that's probably going to be the one we're going to clear first, because that's kind of close to this coal supply. And actually, you know what I'm going to do is I'm not even going to touch this coal supply for now, because if I do, we're going to start having lots of problems with biters, because they really don't like pollution. And our pollution is, if I put stuff here, our pollution will start expanding around this area. So I think probably what we're going to do is we're just going to take more from that coal over there and then just track it all the way back to our setup here. So we're going to, we know we're going to need a bunch of mining drills. Let's make those. Five is all we can make. Let's go and grab some more materials. We're just going to go right back up to our, our setup over here and grab some stuff. We're good on transport belts. Are we good on? Nope. We do need a couple more inserters. And we could probably use a couple. No, we're going on electronic circuits, actually. Let's grab our inserters. And we'll control click all these to grab a bunch of that stuff. And make me a bunch. Make me a bunch of those. All right, so that is happily making me stuff. Let's go over to this coal. This coal is very far away, 
but it'll be perfectly fine. And it also gives us a chance to actually check on this stuff to see if we're running at a bit of a shortage. Uh, we can see that we might eventually be running out of shortage, but currently everything seems fine. A shortage of coal, that is, by the way. Coal that supplies the boilers. All right, let's set up a thing. We want to fully saturate this belt 100% because we know it's it's very far to actually go to get this stuff. So we want to make sure it's a fully saturated thing. So we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Chop this up a little bit. Um, 10. Nope. 10. 11. 12. Okay. Uh, we'll do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Uh, give me more. Give me more. Give me more. 11. 12. We'll have to do something cheeky with that one. All right, then we'll go like this, because we know that 12 is the optimal uh, stuff on one side, the optimal amount of material for each side of the uh, of the belt. So having 12 feeding to one side of the belt and having 12 feeding to the other side of the belt is a fully saturated belt. So that's going to be one fully saturated belt of coal. And I suspect we're, that if we keep taking from this coal, what we're going to have eventually is going to be something resembling a bus of coal coming out of here. And that'll be perfectly fine. But for now, it's just going to be one. All right, let's power everything up. All right. And awesome. Almost there. Just run this along this side over here. Okay, now they're all set up. Now let's just go straight. And we don't have any more grenades, uh, so I think we're just going to have to clear our way through. Or we can just go back and get more grenades. It's a bit of a long walk, but that's okay. We can enjoy the scenery while we're going. Nice little lake. I think it looks nice. Everything's still working. You might run out eventually. It looks like, No, you still have 6.7k. That's quite a bit. Run back up here to grab a couple of nades. How many do you think we have currently? Looks like we have 136. That is quite a few, actually. That is more than I expected. Let's run right back. And we'll be able to clear ourselves a little path. Coming out of that coal and moving on towards our factory over there. And eventually I'm going to clear paths anyways because we want to have enough room for cars. I love cars. Cars are fun. Cars get you places very fast. So do trains, but trains are dangerous. Cars are dangerous too, I suppose, but... Almost to the other side. But now we do not want to destroy these power poles, so we're just going to very, very delicately maybe chop a tree here, chop a tree there. And then continue with our destruction. By the way, if you do accidentally drop some grenades a little bit too close to your feet and you die, it's no big deal. You'll respawn and you'll have all your stuff waiting for you on the ground. You don't actually lose things from, from dying. Uh, we're almost there. Let's clear this as well. Because why not? These are trees and we do hate trees after all. I don't know any Factorio player who likes trees, really. I think that's just kind of a meme in Factorio. No trees are allowed to exist go back up there all right that should be clear you know what while we're actually going down here we should probably be productive and just bring a, a line with us am I gonna run out of belts maybe I don't think so I think I'll be fine all right please go through the gap that I've made that looks like it's good you can see on the mini map by the way there's that huge gap through the trees Da, 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 da. Just trailing a thing with me. And stop. Awesome. We got a whole line of coal coming over here to feed all of our hungry machines. And we've left space, by the way, so that we could eventually maybe have more lines of coal like this coming with us. 
I'll just leave those there for now because why not? All right, and let's finish the connection. Finish him. Here we go. You're encroaching a little bit on my poles or on my uh, stuff. You can break rocks as well. It just takes a little bit more ammunition. All right. Uh, so right here is where we want to go. And we'll go with the in inside one. The one too far. There we are. Awesome. I think that's going to work out perfectly fine. Um, and, and you know what we'll do as well? We'll just... Here, let's, let's grab these poles and we're going to run alongside this. Just to connect it back up to the grid. This is a good place to run alongside, by the way, because it's it's uh, it's kind of a path that we've already made, so we can utilize it. We're almost there. Do we have enough to make it? <gasps> I don't know. Four, three, two, one. Yeah, we had enough. Just by one. Awesome. Our coal's coming slowly, but it's coming. Eventually. Everything's powered up. And uh, it should be there any second. All right, all we got to do now is get some of that iron. And for iron, we're going to need to get a couple more mining drills. I've just made a bunch of them. And you know, we'll make a couple more power as well. So we're going for this iron deposit right up here. Um, Do we want to? Let's start with this one. Let's get from this one, and then this one will be... Uh, because, okay, so this is the bottom, this is the southmost smeltery that we're going to have. All the other smelteries are going to go up. So we're, we're going to exhaust this right here. And then we're going to focus on this one as we get to the smelteries that are up a little bit higher. So let's not worry about that one quite yet. Uh, we'll get a couple of grenades as we're walking by, though, because we do have some more trees that we need to clear. 50 grenades, awesome. Alrighty. So we got our, we're going to want another full line of stuff. So let's start here. One, two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, yeah, that's gonna be a full twelve. All right, now next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna power it up. We don't have our poles yet. Our poles are being made, so let's just let's work on the belt then until that's done. Right, all the way down like this. And oops, one more. Awesome. And maybe we'll have a power pole right here. And then once a couple of our power poles get made, we can actually finish powering this up. So we'll have one right there maybe. Can I put one here? Oh, yes, I can actually fit that one there. Awesome, awesome. Awesome, awesome. And one right there. That should be everything powered. All right, now let's get our belt all the way back. So what we're going to do is we're going to run this south to meet up with our coal. Uh, okay, we have grenades. Oops, I broke a lot of that stuff. All right, and let's fix this as well while we're at it. Stop encroaching. All right, let's bring it back down with the coal. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do something a little bit crazy here. It's not really crazy, but it sounds crazy. I'm going to leave a space. And the reason I leave that space is because maybe eventually we'll have another one coming down from here. That's going to meet up with it like that. And let's fix these, fix these up so that they're not broken forever. And let's run it over.
We... I've run out of belts. Wow. That's how many belts we've used. Alright, let's just go right back up to our stuff. We know we have plenty of belts over here, so... It's no big deal. Belts, 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 belts. Grab all of those. And do we need any more? Well, we'll grab some of those as well, because we know we're going to need them. And why not grab a couple of these? Uno dos. Looking good. Looking good. Let's just bring our stuff all the way over. Why did you guys all transfer to the bottom? Oh, you know, I probably pressed that. I did not know that was the thing. No need to use a nade here. We can just chop this one. Give it the old chopper root. And actually, if we run out of belt, we can place these faster. Oops. Unless we do that. It's a little bit slower that way. Alrighty. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to go under this. Under like so. The reason we went under, by the way, is because we want we know that we want to have this one on top of the coal. Whoa, I do not want that there. Oops. We almost contaminated our belt with some some stone. That would not have been great. Alright, finally, to finish off this factory, it's gonna start producing any second. Let's go and find our iron belt and move it back a little bit. This is going to make up the first or second, I don't know. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. I guess this will be the, uh, the, well, t okay, technically, if we're going to have eight of these arrays, because each one fits one belt, um, this should probably be this one right here that we're working with. Okay, so let's plan for that to, for this to be that one up there. But for now, we're going to make it this first one. And we'll eventually switch that around. Chop this up. Chop this up. Okay. So move that one out and then chop that up. Chop that up. Okay. Okay, so it looks like everything is starting to kick into action. You can see we have quite a bit of iron being produced there. Um, and you know what? I guess we'll make it on that one. Yeah, we'll keep it on that one just for simplicity's sake. I wanted to put it on the first belt right here because typically that's the first belt that you start taking from. But I think it'll be fine. All right, we'll continue that out a little bit. Sweet. Well, that's our bus setup. That's our bus started, at least. And this is our first smelting array, fully saturated. Well, almost. We do still have some areas right there uh, that are causing problems. And one way you can actually get around this, and don't ask me why it works, because I sort of understand it, but not really, is that you can place something like this, and it will actually fully saturate your belts. And, well, I kind of understand it. The reason is because... Um, for some reason, when your belt continues to go, there are sometimes gaps, random gaps, like, uh, I guess you can't really see them because the belt's completely stopped, but if, for instance, we, we had the belt continue for a long time like this, you'd see that it, there'd be some gaps. Well, you can't really see them. I guess. Oh, well. I mean, that's, that, that, that's the thing that that people do and it helps saturate the belt a little bit more so I guess you have to take my word for it until the uh, until I get the next one set up so I can show you all right well that's gonna be the episode for today that's gonna be episode 5 we worked on smelting this uh, or making this big smelting factory and I think it looks pretty awesome we've left plenty 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 of room to actually continue our factory going upward and then we've also got our belt set up or our bus setup rather and that's going to be very important in the future but if you like that video hit that like button put your comments and suggestions down below and i'll see you guys in the next one